Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Today we're going to be talking about outfield throws, throwing from the outfield, and a little bit how it varies from throwing from the infield or any other position. So the very first thing I want to talk about is your arm circle, okay? So from the outfield, actually from, from, from the infield or from catching, you know, you'll see catchers sometimes, they'll receive the ball, and they go to throw a guy out, and they're right here. You know, the ball is literally kind of right by their ear. Or infielders that have to have a quick release to first base, they'll kind of have that short. It's a little bit longer than a catcher, but they'll still kind of have that short linear throwing motion from the outfield it's a little bit different you want to uh, you still want to be quick with with your transfer and getting that throw off but you want to have a lot of power and a lot of backspin behind each and every throw so the arm circle from the outfield is going to look a lot larger what I mean by that remember your hands work in equal and opposites but from the outfield your arm circle is going to be much much bigger so remember this is catcher infield's a little bit further outfield you're really going to allow your, your throwing arm to drop and again equal and opposite so this arm is going to drop and make a big arm circle as well um, but let it drop and then make sure that you're really on top of the baseball I see a lot of guys they get like this and that that's going to lead to the ball kind of kind of sailing on you and you're going to overthrow your cutoff man so make sure that you're on top of the ball that your fingers are on top of the baseball um, and that's really going to help you out. So that's the, that's the first thing, arm circle. You want to have a larger arm circle in the outfield. Remember that your arms work equal and opposites. Okay, another thing I want to talk about making throws from the outfield is hitting your cutoff, man. You're going to hear your coaches absolutely pound this into your head, but you always want to make sure that you're hitting your cutoff, man. And you want to hit them. Your cutoff, man, is going to be positioned like this. You want to hit them on their glove side. Don't make them, you know, make a bunch of moves like this to the side or, or make a throw over here because then you're not going to be able to get that guy out. So make sure you hit them on their glove hand side, make a good throw, and throw through the cutoff, man. You don't want to throw to him and have the ball coming down uh, to him so he feels it down here. You want to throw it through him. And the reason for that is because sometimes if it's a good long hop to third base or home or wherever you're throwing the ball to, sometimes he can just let it go and it's going to be quicker for the ball to get there on a long hop than it is if he cuts it off and makes another throw. So throw the ball through your cutoff, man, but hit your cutoff. Don't sail it. Don't short hop him. Don't do any of that. Uh, actually, my outfield coach, he's a former professional baseball player, and his joke is always get the ball to the infielders and let them screw it up. And I am kind of have the same philosophy. You want to make sure that you always are hitting your cutoff man in the chest or uh, kind of in the, in the face area, but make a good throw to them, and then if they bobble it or if they make a bad throw, then it's their fault. The coaches are going to get on them and not you. So that's a little bit about throwing from the outfield. Big thing is, uh, you know, bigger arm circle, always hit your cutoff man. And remember, the shorter throw, Look at my shoulders here. Um, if I'm, if I'm, you know, if a guy's 10 feet away from me, my shoulder is going to be pretty level throughout the throw. But if I'm throwing the ball 250 feet, then obviously when when my when my hands break, my front shoulder, my shoulder is going to be more on a plane like this. Okay, so just remember your shoulder level. Uh, you don't really have to think about that. It's something your brain kind of calculates automatically. These are just a few little tips for uh, throwing the ball from the outfield. Hopefully you found them helpful. Uh, and if you have, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll automatically be notified whenever we release new videos. We're coming at you with uh, baseball videos every single week. So really hit that subscribe button. Do it now before you forget about it. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.